Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Ho Yifan and Francisco Pons, known as Paco. This is a game from Z tournament played in 2009. Ho Yifan had white pieces and she started with e4. Paco played c5, the Sicilian defense. Did you know that Paco won on the 18 World Youth Chess Championship? That was in the year 2000, and he is also the top Spanish player. Ho Yifen continued with knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to b5, g6, e5 attacking the knight, knight to g4, bishop takes on c6, d takes on c6, h3 kicking the knight back, Knight to h6, g4, preventing knight to f5. It seems that Ho Yifen had no intention to castle kingside. Bishop to g7, d3, f5, white to move. Pawn takes pawn on f5. Ho Yifen stolen the black pawn on f5. Believe it or not. I had someone email me saying that he was unsubscribing because I played an illegal move just like this. It was unbasan. Unbelievable. Pawn takes pawn on f6, queen to e2 check, king to f7, bishop to e3, rook to e8 pinning the bishop and Ho Yifen castled queen's side. King to g8, d4, intending to open the d file for the rook. c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, and the black queen is no longer safe on the d file, so Paco played queen to c7. Rook from h to e1, knight to f7. Note how the white army is fully mobilized and black still needs to activate two of his pieces. Queen to c4, pinning the knight. Queen to h2, threatening to take on h3, and then perhaps on g4. How should white continue? Perhaps white can play safe. Rook to h1 would offend the pawn. What do you think? What would you do? Ho Yifen was brave and confident in her ability, so she decided to sacrifice both pawns in order to improve the position of her pieces even more and then launch an attack on the black king. Let's see what happened. Knight on c to e2, queen takes on h3, knight to f4. In order to bring her knight to f4, two pawns were sacrificed. Was this wise? Queen takes on g4. Black achieved what he wanted too. Black is two pawns up and has a bishop here. But like I said, two of the black pieces are not activated yet. The game continued. Rook to g1, attacking the queen. Queen to d7, knight from d to e6, queen to e7. Knight takes on g7, king takes on g7. Why to move? How would you continue now? And now comes knight to h5 check. Two pawns were sacrificed, so that the knight can come to f4 first and then to h5, threatening to take on f6 when the time is right. This is check, king to h8. Bishop to c5, attacking the queen. If queen goes to c7, then knight takes on f6, and black would have a huge problem on the dark squares. So in this position, Paco played queen to e6, defending the pawn, on f6, and offering to trade queens. Why to move? This is another very important moment of the game. What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, Ho Yifen played rook from g to e1. Very strong move. 
black to move. Queen takes rook, aiming to get two rooks for the queen. Let's take it back. If knight to e5, then queen takes queen, and after bishop takes queen, knight takes on f6. And white is standing much better. Back to our game. Queen takes rook. But now, not rook takes queen. Queen takes on f7. Queen takes rook, check. King takes bishop to g4, check. King to d2, rook from a to d8, king to c3, bishop takes knight. White to move. How would you continue? I guess most club players would play queen takes on f6, check. But Ho Yifen played much better move. Bishop to d4, threatening checkmate on f6. Rook takes bishop. White to move. White played a move and black resigned and the move is the obvious one. Queen takes rook, check. Paco resigned. After king to g7, king takes rook. And I guess we can stop here. In the interview by New in Chess magazine, Ho Yifen cited this game as her best game ever. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.